boy, we had some intense storms and a lot of rain last night. It's clearer today and we get a break, but only for today. We got more storms headed here tomorrow. We do have that break today. There's nothing on radar this morning. We've had a few light sprinkles, a few kind of misty uh, little showers out here, but really not much on the radar, not really showing up here. And today the temperatures are quite comfortable, right around 70, 71 degrees across the area. And then tonight, 50, 51 degrees uh, for our lows. So it will be a little bit chilly tonight and we actually have several nights in the 50s coming up. So the mornings may be a little bit chillier getting up uh, starting the day. But as I mentioned uh, last night, we had these big storms come through. Look at the rain here. So big rain across our southern counties. Ellis County got a bit, and then Johnson County really didn't get much. So 2.5 inches in uh, Hillsboro there, about an inch in Corsicana, more in the southern portions of Navarro County there, about half an inch in Waxahachie, and really only about a quarter inch in uh, Cleburne there. Now, if you look at the hail tracks, this really tells the story. There were really two storms that kind of stole the show, if you will, last night. There was the one storm that tracked through Stephenville. We followed that storm all the way from Abilene. It went a long, long way. Very large hail there. Kind of lost its intensity, though, as it moved into Hill County. And then a second major storm that actually move south of our area into the Waco area, caused a tornado warning there. And there were some divided reports. We haven't had confirmation yet of if a tornado actually did come from that storm, but uh, it did definitely produce plenty of hail and uh, plenty of rotation there as well. Now we do have another system coming in right up here. You see this low and kind of this cold front trailing here. We have the high pressure for today. So it sticks around for now, but it won't be around very long. This stationary front is that old system that's moved down to the south. But as this thing moves down, we will be looking at yet another chance for severe weather tomorrow. Already in an enhanced risk, and this one looks to go a little further north. This is not kind of a north and south divide. If anything, if this changes at all, it'll be either west or east. So that's kind of the delineation we're looking at. I expect to see a dry line, and we'll probably see very intense storms, very quickly building storms developing tomorrow in our area, probably around again, three or four o'clock, right around that peak daytime heating. So as they move in, the biggest threat will once again be hail. And in fact, this is really the same as it has been, as it was yesterday at least. Uh, enhanced risk overall, we do have a low chance of tornadoes. Now, it doesn't look like the tornado likelihood is quite what it was yesterday, but it's not enough of a change for me to drop that back to that half low that I usually have there. There will be strong updrafts and with that could be a few tornadoes tomorrow. Damaging winds are a threat as well, are a, a threat, excuse me, as well. What I will say too though is that we're looking at a, a the moderate risk, but we're not probably going to see the kind of uh, linear segment or straight line or solid line, squall line, whatever you want to call it. We were expecting that more yesterday. Tomorrow we're looking at more individual storms. So uh, the damaging wind threat is there for those downdrafts and downbursts, microbursts, that kind of thing. But we're not looking at those bowing out segments so much as we were yesterday. But hail will be the biggest threat. I'm not sure about flooding though. It, we should be able to get these storms out of here a little bit more quickly, but large hail will be a concern as we go through tomorrow. So we do have this nice forecast for today, 70 degrees, clearing skies, at least some sunshine by the end of the day. Northwest winds of five to 10 miles per hour. It's chilly tonight, tomorrow 77 degrees ahead of that front, but that thing does come in in the afternoon and we do look to have some severe storms. It'll be kind of gusty tomorrow as well. South winds of five to 15 miles per hour. Could be gusting up to 20 to 25 though. 55 degrees overnight tomorrow night. Saturday, we don't warm up much, 65 degrees. Could have some lingering showers in the morning. I think the afternoon is fine. And we have windy conditions out of the Northwest, 15 to 20 miles per hour. So keep that in mind with those outdoor activities. Low around 50, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday, we start warming up a little bit, mid to upper 70s. Uh, Sunday night, again, another chilly one, low 50s. Monday, we start uh, right around the same 76 degrees, but overnight it's warmer, 57 degrees. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're getting right back to the 80 degree range, 78 on uh, Wednesday. Tuesday looks to be our warmest day of the forecast, 80 degrees. 
We could be looking at a rain chance moving in right around midweek next week. Right now, it looks like it's going to be north of our area, but that could change. Uh, so I'll keep you updated on that too. But for now, enjoy the break. More storms tomorrow before we head into what looks to be a pretty nice weekend.